All right, guys, we are out here at Palmer Ridge High School. Getting a little workout in today. I'm gonna be showing you guys a good speed workout that you can do this summer to get faster. I'm gonna be running four by flying 80 meters. So just on this straightaway right here, gonna be working top end speed mechanics. Just really working on my technique because that was one thing that really lacked in the end of my 200 um, and like the middle of my 400. I'm gonna get this warm up in and I got my boy Ethan behind the camera. <laughs> He's gonna be filming me a little bit this summer. Yeah, it should be a good day. It's super nice out, like 65 degrees, tiny bit of wind. I have not worked out since last week, Monday, Tuesday-ish, so I'm like full week fresh pretty much, except for my races, obviously. How are we feeling? Feeling pretty good. Gotta get right for training. I do this maybe three to five minutes before each session if I'm sore, if I'm tight. Helps me open up. One thing you guys gotta understand about any workout that you come into, you gotta approach the warm up just as, just as intentional as you approach the workout because I see a lot of people in high school especially, and I used to do this, not warm up enough at least 30, 45 minutes before your race or before your workout especially at a meet. You need to be getting moving, jogging, doing light dynamic stretches, fast dynamic stretches, accelerations, drives. You need to be getting up to max velocity before you go out there and get in the blocks. And then you can chill before your actual race goes off. But 10 minutes before your event, you should already be completely warm, sweating, and ready to go. And that's when you're gonna perform your best. Socks with spikes or no socks with spikes. I'm team no socks, depends on the event. Comment down below. All right, so gonna get into the workout now. Just did one final acceleration from a three point. So I'm gonna start at the numbers down there, get a little either three point or just like a run in start to my blue triangles right here. And then that's gonna be about 80, 85 meters to the numbers down there. And these aren't gonna be timed. I'm not really worried about time right now. See that, but we're starting a six minute timer for the rest. A little bit flat in my legs, but since I'm coming off like four and a half ish days of rest, so not feeling like completely 100% and not feeling technically amazing, I gotta get my hamstring back to 100%. Through a lot of strengthening, a lot of half Nordics, Nordics, hamstring curls, RDL, stuff like that. Which I'll be doing in the gym this week, start, starting this week. Yeah, we're gonna switch to uh, an iPhone. Still should be pretty good quality, but we're running out of storage on this camera. Gonna do it for this one let me know if you try this workout at home gonna be doing a new video every single week at least maybe two videos a week depending on when i film that week but yeah shout out to Ethan for filming should be a super fun summer and this is just the first video of the summer so yeah thanks guys for watching